Next to Toronto Together and a high school student's effort to raise awareness about the lack of clean drinking water in First Nations and Indigenous communities. 16-year-old Zach Stab began his cycling journey from Montreal St. Joseph's Oratory. He's now preparing to reach the finish line all the way at the CN Tower. And my goal for this project was always just to, to kind of be a starting point for uh, people realizing these problems in these communities. And uh, that's it. As much as, a, as much of the fundraiser is, I want the awareness to reach just as far as the, as the money is. The fundraiser started as a mandatory school project for all senior students. The one rule, make a positive impact on society. Since then, his 603 Kilometers for Hope campaign has found a fitting partner. Ontario-based charity Water First helps to address water challenges facing Indigenous communities across Canada. It's just fantastic to see uh, how he's, he's, he's taken this on. Uh, he's very passionate uh, about, uh, about the challenge uh, here and, uh, and, to, and to turn that passion into a really solid action uh, to, to make this sacrifice and put this effort into it. We, we're, we're all blown away to, to watch this unfold. So far, Zach has managed to raise around $4,000, surpassing his initial goal of $1,500. All the money collected will go directly to Water First. Zach is expected to reach the CN Tower this An Saturday. An Ontario woman is doing what she can to spread a little kindness to children half a world away. 81-year-old Marilyn Bremner traveled two hours from Port Dover to Mississauga to deliver hundreds of handmade teddy bears. It's for children affected by the large explosion in Lebanon earlier this month. Trying for 200 or 250 tops. That was what we were. We ended up with 300. And they show them. They, make, they let the kids show them. And then your heart, your heart pounds when you look and you go, that's my material. So we think from Port Dover to halfway around the world, they're ours. We can make, we've made a difference. We've made some little child happy. With the help of the relief campaign Lebanon Strong, the teddy bears will make their way to hospitals in Lebanon in the hopes of comforting kids impacted by the tragedy. And our Toronto Together coverage continues on our website. Our online team has a special section of stories for you to browse at ctvnewstoronto.ca. And if you have a suggestion, feel free to get in touch.